Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're gonna be talking about a really fun singing game that you can use in your elementary music class, whether that is during the school year, over the summer. This is a great like summer camp one because it's ocean themed. And that song is Ickle Ockle. So let's get into it. All right, first of all, Ickle Ockle is one of those songs that has different names, different versions, different things, but I use the one that is Ickle Ockle. Some people call it Bickle Bockle. When it comes down to it, it's made up words anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, and then some people use a version that is just so me and not, and some people use a version that goes down to do at the end. So for our purposes, we're using Ickle Ockle. We're going to do at the end. And this song is great for do or also for quarter rest. I've also used it to practice a lot. If you just don't talk about that last section, then you can talk about so and me and la and you know continue that way so we'll talk about the game we'll talk about how i introduce it how i use it and fun things that you can do along with it so first of all the song this song goes eagle aqua blue bottle fishes in the sea if you want a partner just choose me so the pattern being um so, so, me, me, so, me, so, so, me, la, so, 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 me, me, so, me, so, me, do. It also has quarter rest, and so it's really great for like second grade, third grade. You could even do it in first grade if you wanted to, but I like it for second grade. It's kind of like my magic area for it. Now, the song that goes along with this, it is a singing game. So for this singing game, it's a partner stealing game. So what happens is everybody has a partner except for one person who's in the middle. How I typically do this is I'll count how many kids we have. And if there is an odd number of students, then it's perfect. If there's an even number of students, I will play along with the kids. So one kid stands in the middle and we say that they're in the shark tank and everybody else is in pairs and they walk around the room. We usually just go in a circle to make life easy with their partner. Um, you can have them lean arms if you want. You can just have them walk together. And then at the end of the song, you have to find a new partner including the person in the middle who needs to find a partner as well. So it's a partner ceiling game because that person in the middle has to go find a partner and somebody will be left out and that person will go to the middle. Now we don't play it as outs because if that person's out then you have an even number of kids and then it doesn't work anymore. But we just, you know, whoever is out goes to the middle and then we play again and keep going. This game is really, really fun. It can get a little chaotic, but it is really fun and the kids usually really like it. Now, how I like to use this song is I start out by usually we'll have another song that goes with it and then we'll start with this one and I'll start by just having them put the solfege on their um, body solfege, whatever we want to call it, because I usually do it with the younger kids so we don't have hand signs yet. So I just say, great, follow me. and then down to the floor. Um, then I'll hum along with it, and then finally I'll sing along with it. And I'll tell the kids like the words are just a little bit silly, and we keep going. And so at the end, you know, it says fish is in the sea. So we'll sing it a couple times, and I'm like, great. So this song is about fish. So this time, can you pretend like you're a fish? And so we swim like a fish, well, you know, like this, or, you know, gills, however they want to swim like fish, I don't care, um, while we sing the song. And then I'll ask the kids, what are some other animals that live in the ocean? So I'll be like, oh, jellyfish. I'm like, great, can we be jellyfish this time? So we'll do, ickle, aqua, blue, bottle, fishes, and fussy. And then they'll say, oh, sharks. I'm like, great, let's swim like sharks this time. And so we can change it up. That's also a really good way to get some movement at the beginning of class, because I always start with movement. So sometimes we'll leave it there, and then the next time they'll come in and we start with that at the beginning. You can have them move around the classroom or just stay in their spot, however you want to do that, or you can do it one time in their spot, one time move around the classroom to make things, you know, fun and interesting. Now, like I mentioned, there's a couple different things that you can work on with this. So you can work on quarter rest, you can work on la, you can work on do, however you want to do it is fine. I usually use this one for quarter rest, but it just kind of depends on the year and how I'm feeling and what we want to do. So so whichever one I choose, we do end up like looking at the notation, talking about whatever the concept is that we're working on so that we can get all of that figured out. Now, my favorite thing is to practice this with what I call fish patterns. So what I like to do with this is I have fish shaped flashcards 
in my lesson pack actually on TPT that goes with this song. And so I take the fish and one time we'll do it at the end of the song, we'll sing the pattern or say the pattern if you're doing rhythm or melody, but I think mine are melody. So we'll do, we'll sing the pattern, we'll do the song, sing the next pattern, do the song, sing the next pattern. Then I'll take the fish and I scatter them all over the room. And so we'll walk while we're singing the song. And then at the end we stop and whichever fish you are closest to, you sing that pattern. So we all end up singing different patterns. It's a little chaotic. It's not good for, you know, like assessing students and making sure they're actually doing it right. But assuming you've practiced it before, they hopefully should be able to sing it on their own. And it's just a good way to get quite a bit of practice in while also just making life a little bit more fun because they're moving all around the room. And anytime the kids are moving or walking, it's just always more fun than if they're sitting still. So that is a really fun thing. We'll, we'll just sing the song and then I'll say, one, two, here you go. And I always sing this so, and they'll sing it. And then back to our song, it go, I'll go blue, and we continue on. So that is a really fun way to practice lots of solfege or rhythm patterns. Now, especially if we are doing rhythm, I like to include some instruments. I don't have honestly anything like super fancy for this song in particular, but one thing I do like to use is using either the guiros that are shaped like the fish or using the castanets because they look like clams. And so we use both of those to practice um, playing either the beat or the rhythm, practicing that quarter note. You could have, you know, one group playing the beat on one, one group playing the rhythm on the other. And then usually if I do that, I'll also pair it with an ocean themed song that they can keep the beat to. So um, I'm thinking Hawaiian roller coaster ride is a really fun one. Um, and then also like, you know, instrumental songs, which of course now I can't think of anyone that would be good, but you know, that is life. So then I also like to use my ocean animal manipulative. So I have just little like cards that have different ocean animals on them. Um, and so we use those to make different patterns rhythm wise. And so we'll have, sometimes we do a whole group where we'll have somebody come up and pick a pattern that we'll play. And then sometimes we do it in like smaller groups where the kids make their own patterns. However you want to do it is totally, but it again, it adds just a little bit more of a fun element to it. And if I'm feeling really feisty, sometimes I include ocean animal four corners. So the way that I do this is I have the numbers. I So the way that I do this is it's a rhythm game. They have quarter note in one corner. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of what they are. Half note in one corner and then no quarter note in one corner, eighth notes in another, quarter and eighth notes in another and then two sets of eighth notes in the other. And we'll pull out a card from my Ocean Animals pack. You can just throw a picture up on the screen um, and either on the screen or just holding it up and the kids will go to that corner. Alternatively, you can have the kids go to the corner while you sing and then hold up a card and whatever animal, whatever rhythm matches that animal, those kids would then sit down. So if it's um, dolphin, that would be Titi. And so whoever was in that corner would sit down. So there's kind of different ways that you can play it depending on how you want to do things. And finally, we also, of course, play the game, but I like to have lots of different activities for the songs so that that way we, you know, just have a lot of stuff to do. And especially if we can practice some rhythm and practice the melody and get all that stuff done. So that is how I like to use Ickle Ockle in my elementary music class. I'll link everything that I talked about down below and then I'll include the lesson pack for Ickle Ockle. It'll include the Ocean Animal Four Quarters and the manipulative, so you can check all those out. I'll also include the blog post because that's where I have the like written notation of the song. So you can see that if you want to, you know, help remember that. And there should be a downloadable PDF as well if you would like to download that for free. I'm not even gonna ask for your email and print it out so that you can keep that for your records. I would love to know what your favorite ocean themed songs are, first of all. Secondly, I would love to know if you, secondly, I would love to know what other songs you suggest that we talk about here on, or what songs I need to add to my repertoire so that we can, you know, have all the fun things in the future. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.